Hey there everyone, this is Danielle. Nintendo News currently has a thing saying games for gamers, which I think is pretty hilarious, since that describes all video games. Uh, I don't know why these particular games are for gamers and most of the ones that I play are not, but there you go. <laughs> anyway, we're going to play some Animal Crossing, which is not for gamers, apparently. As you can see, it's been a while since last time again. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Cantor, it's 2.13pm on Saturday, April 11th, 2020. Can you believe it? Today on Cantor, we're hosting our very first fishing tourney. The tourney will run until 6pm. Anyone can participate. Just check in at the tent in the plaza. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you in your enjoyment of our island. Okay, so we have a fishing tourney today. That's not the only thing we have to look at today, though, because I haven't recorded a video in a while. There's a few new things that we need to see. Firstly, my house is now massive. Uh, also, my phone is ringing. Uh, this is just what happens if the previous day you used the drop-off box. When the game starts, Hello, this is Timmy from Nook's Cranny. We've sent a payment to your bank account for 23,840 bells for what you left in the drop-off box. Thank you for using this service. Hope to see you in the shop soon. So yeah, that happens every morning if you use the drop-off box the previous day, basically. Uh, let me just check the mailbox here. And then we'll go look at my house, which is now massive. <laughs> uh, Happy Home Academy sent me a thing. Sherb sent me a thing. Daniel, two stories. Ma'am, you could play hide and seek in your house so easy. I sent you a gift so you could decorate, but we could play hide and seek instead. Here I come, Sherb. That's adorable. Thanks, Sherb. Uh, Mum sent me probably an apple, I'm guessing, from what she said here. And that's all for today. Do -do 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 -do. Riding poster. Globe and a present. Mum's tea cozy. Alright then. Let's head on inside and just drop some of this stuff off. I thought it would be an apple, but no, it's a tea cozy. Okay, so this is my ground floor. You've seen it before, but now we have stairs over here. This is pretty much the same as in any previous Animal Crossing. The stairs just show up at the beginning of the house, and there's another room up there. Interestingly, it's a weird shape. Usually, it's just a normal square, um, and then you can expand it some more once you've made it. But in this game, apparently it's different, and it's just like a weird rectangle. I don't know if you can expand it at all or not, so I guess we'll find out. Uh, let me just put some stuff down here. Uh, let's put that poster on the wall, I reckon. Oh yeah, that's a cool poster. I like it. Uh, and the globe can go in here. This can be our science room. <laughs> let's put a globe there, give it a little spin. There we go. It's kind of weird that the globe has what looks like the real world on it. Um, tea cozy probably belongs downstairs in the kitchen, so I'll just put it in storage for now. We should have more room, room in storage now because that's one of the things that happens when you expand. Yep, 800. I had 400 before, so that's quite a welcome addition. <laughs> uh, anyway, so that's the second floor. Uh, I also have three rooms on the ground floor. I don't know if that was the case last time you visited, but over here we have a bedroom. I've forgotten exactly when I made the last video. <laughs> Sorry about that. Ah, uh, here's the bedroom. We got lava lamps. Uh, we got a uh, rocking chair if you wanna wanna rock. Uh, it's got a like a perfumey thing over there. I think that's what that is. Might be a dehumidifier. Might be a humidifier. I like how a humidifier and a dehumidifier are both things that you can use. You can just have them fight it out. <laughs> over here we have the bathroom, which is very scenic. As you can see, you've got a sink over here to wash up. Uh, you've got your towels and stuff over there. Uh, you've got your toilet, which has a lovely view out the window here. <laughs> you can close the blinds if you want, but I'm going to leave them open. Uh, and over here we have this anatomical model, so you know what's happening when you use the bathroom. You can go look at the model and be like, oh, okay. Although it doesn't look a whole lot like me. I mean, if you look at that creature there, they don't look much like my human who's standing next to it. So I'm not sure what that model is of. Um, yeah, we'll get a dream house, so upgrade one. I guess there's one more upgrade available? The basement, maybe? I don't know. Um, New Leaf gave you a lot more flexibility about this. In this game, you basically get to, you, you like, the order of upgrades is fixed. Tom Nook always gives you the same one once you pay off your loan. In New Leaf, once you'd gotten, I believe, the second floor to exist, which was, I think, the third upgrade in, 
you could choose whether you wanted a room added or you wanted to make one of the rooms bigger or you wanted to add storage and you had a bunch of different options. This game is not quite so flexible, which is a bit disappointing. And out of character, it's a little weird. Uh, okay, yeah. So that's the kitchen, got a be bed in there. It looks super uncomfortable, but if you want to take a nap in the kitchen, that'd be your best shot. Anyway, um, so other things that have happened besides my house, let's head outside. Uh, I got the town to be good enough, I guess. Um, I got it to three-star ranking by adding a bunch of furniture outside. So we've got a fountain here. Uh, we've got some other stuff. <laughs> Let me have a bit of a look around see if I can show you. I added some fencing over here. Uh, you can see a couple of signs as well. Uh, there's also a drinks machine just there. It doesn't do a whole lot, but, you know, it's a drinks machine. I also got a snack machine and put it way over here. So it's like a secret snack machine if you wanted some secret snacks. There you go. There's also a decoration there. You can place furniture pretty much anywhere you want, except in the plaza for some reason. So that's cool. Um, do, 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 do. So yeah, um, and adding all that stuff made KK Slider visit because the town was nice enough. Uh, I can't show you that because he's not here now, but he will show up every Saturday evening. So I might do another video later tonight. Uh, he'll show up in the plaza and perform basically. And after he performed, Tom Nook came to my house and gave me this, the Island Designer app. I haven't used this yet, let's find out what it does. <laughs> I believe this is how you basically terraform your island. Uh, so let's have a look at it. Should I start the Island Designer app and do some construction work? Uh, let's check the manual first. What should I read up on? Basic user guide? About the Island Designer app. Starting and stopping construction. Please use the app to properly begin and end construction. Switching between permits. During construction, you can press the plus button to switch permits. Please note, your permits for the island designer app are only valid for use on Canterlot. If you leave the island, construction will end. Always wear a helmet and always work with safety in mind. Okay, uh, path construction? Path construction guide. Press A while on grassy areas to create or remove paths. Selecting path designs. Press the plus button to select from path designs you've obtained. Okay, uh, cleanup service? Cleanup service guide. Sometimes when you're working on construction projects, you might accidentally find yourself in a pinch. Perhaps something you put out keeps you from moving around or you can't grab an item up on a cliff. It's cleanup service is for these moments where you need the items around you cleaned up a bit. The cleanup service will only work on placed items, fencing, and trees in your immediate vicinity. Make sure you get close to the items causing you trouble before you apply for the service. Items picked up by the service will be deposited in the recycle box at resident services. So don't delay in picking up those items from the box. Alright. Uh, I'm done reading. Let's start it up and have a look. Start construction. Getting permission for construction. Island designer is ready. Use the plus buttons between different construction options. Please check the manual for info. Oh look, I'm a little construction worker. Adorable. So if I press plus, let me see what I can do. I can make grass or dirt paths. I don't have many options yet, as you can see. I believe we can get more by redeeming nook miles. So we will do that shortly. But first, let's just try making a little bit of a dirt path here somewhere. Just so we can get a feel for it. Da, 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 da. Let me see, where's a good place? Okay, so... Okay, so yeah, you just press A and it just like, digs out the spot in front of you, basically. Can I like, hold down the button to do it faster, or...? No, holding down the button does nothing. So it's a little bit slow, but it's doable. Uh, I kind of wish it had a marker to show you which square you're going to affect, because, yeah, it doesn't. And it's a little annoying if you hit the wrong spot and it doesn't do what you want. I believe I can make curved parts as well, but I'm not quite sure how. I might need to unlock that. Oh no, that's curved. Okay, so you just talk, like go to a corner and press A on it again and it curves. I see. Okay. Mm, that looks nice. Okay, so I can make paths now. That's pretty cool. If I press plus, I can change it back to grass, and I assume I can end construction by activating the app again? Yeah, okay. I'll keep going. Okay, so yeah, you can make some nice paths through your town uh, to help people get places that they want to go. It's a little slow and fiddly, but uh, that's okay. 
Could be worse. <laughs> I believe you can upgrade to get the ability to uh, get rid of lakes and stuff with this as well, which is a lot more powerful, obviously. So I'm looking forward to that bit. Let's give you a path over this way. There we go. Oops. Yeah, this is pretty fiddly to use, but it's alright. There we go. Okay, uh, that'll do for now. I think that's a pretty good demonstration. Let's go in and see what else you can do. Uh, I believe we have to go inside, so... Let's go check the Nook Miles Redeemy Club and see what else we can redeem. Oh, oh. Well, hello there, Danielle. Your home has two beautiful stories now. Hmm? I hope you'll take this opportunity to experiment with some new styles of interior design. Which brings us to... The cost of your remodel. That'll be 1,248,000 bells, hmm? Ah uh, yes, please make your payments using the Nook Stops ADB feature as you've done before. One other thing I should mention. As part of the home customization services available to you, you can now order replacement siding. Roof, siding, door, and mailbox. Changing these can make you feel like your home is brand new. Speaking of your mailbox, not only can you change its design, but now you can change its location too. Just pick out your mailbox with Y and place it where you'd like. I'll make sure your mail knows where to go. Please give your new customization options a try. I look forward to seeing what you come up with. As always, it's been ever so nice doing business with you. Yes, yes. I could actually already move the mailbox around, so I'm not sure why he's acting like that's a new feature now. I, I could do that before. Uh, we'll get some bonus daily miles, there we go. Okay, I believe if we go redeem Nook Miles, there should be a bunch of... Yeah, you can see waterscaping permit, cliff construction permit, and different types of paths, all of which we can get. Uh, custom design paths, that sounds exciting. Hmm, let's, let's start with uh, waterscaping and see what that's like. This waterscaping permit is an add-on construction permit for the island designer app. The price is 6,000 miles. Would you like to redeem miles for this permit? Redeem. Your order has been processed. Please place your Nook phone near the terminal to receive the app data. Ding! Your app has been updated. Thank you for using the Nook Stop. Yeah! Now I can do river construction with my island designer app. Let's go give it a try. Let's try to construct a river. <laughs> I don't want to mess things up too much, so I won't make big changes just yet, but we'll have a quick look and see what we can do. Uh, also, I think... Oops. escaping permit added. Press the plus button to switch between options. Check the manual in the app for more information. Uh, no, we're not done for now. I wanted to go to a Nook Miles Plus app because I redeemed some miles, therefore I get some more miles. <laughs> Okie dokie. Uh, let's see. So if I press plus now... You can see I've got my paths, but also down here I have my waterscaping permit. So let's switch to that. Oh, I see. So you just choose it and then you get this little shovel. So if I uh, head over to the river, I think what you can do... If I just head over to the river, which is over here. Here we go. Uh, let's try maybe a bit further down. Yeah, how about where this lawnmower is? If I press A, yeah. Yeah, I can, I can build a little land bridge, like so. And then I think if I dig this out... Yep, it works. So yeah, you can just jump across here, and you don't need a real bridge, it's just a little bit slower. <laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so yeah, you just press A, and it makes you dig in that spot and turn it into beach. I'm guessing it, yeah, it doesn't work on, on the beach. Into beach, into, into river. So it only works on grassy areas, by the looks of things, but that's most of the game, so that should be okay. Yeah, you just dig, and there you go. You've got a little bit of water in that hole. And if I dig around it, too near a tree. Okay, so I've got to be careful about that. Yeah, you can see I've made a little pond. I keep digging. Oops. Yeah, again, I kind of wish it had a little highlight for the square you're going to affect. Like, the normal game doesn't really need that too much, but when you're doing this construction work, it, it, it should indicate what you're going to affect, just for clarity. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, you get the idea. Doop, doop, boom. Cool. Um, yeah, we can also buy different kinds of pods, and there's cliff construction, which sounds pretty interesting. Uh, so we'll be doing that too. I'm guessing I got, yeah, Island Designer. First time use a permit for a path, river, or cliff. Okay, so I did the path. And I did the river. So I get more miles for that. Yep. 
And then if I go get the cliff one, I'll get more miles. Even though I have to go spend some miles to do it, but you gotta spend miles to make miles. <laughs> uh, let's go have a quick look at the uh, fishing tourney as well, because I haven't done that yet at all. Um, let's just switch off the island designer. Uh, I think I have to go into the menu to, to do that. Yeah, like this. Am I done building for now? Yeah, I'm done. Commencing wrap-up sequence. Okay, so now I'm back to normal. And the plus button's been disabled again. I'm not sure why you wouldn't just leave it on all the time, because you can pull out other tools while it's active, but maybe there's a reason? I don't know. Okay, um, I see you. Mm, I'm not sure exactly where it is, is the problem. The perspective in this game is a little confusing. <sighs> Jump. Gotcha. Okay, uh, yeah, let's go talk to the fishing tony guy. I think his name is CJ? Uh, so let's just head over and chat with CJ, see what his dealio is today. Hello. Yo, what up, C-Sports fan? I'm CJ, coming at you live. Hang on, of course I'm live, I'm right here. Anyway, I'm anchoring the premiere event of the fall sports 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 season, the fishing tourney. So shine those hooks and get your reels ready, because between now and 6pm, the tourney is on. The rules of the fishing tourney are easy breezy. You gotta catch as many fish as you can in three minutes. Every fish you catch needs your points. You add enough points and you can swap them for some slick fish swag. Also, there's a cooler in the tent. Any fish you catch will automatically get stowed there. Keeps the pockets dry. That means as long as you've got a fishing rod, you have all you need to compete. Nyuck. Simple, right? And you can enter as many times as you like. What do you say? Ready to get your feet wet in the fishing tourney? The entry fee is waived for the first run. Uh, yeah, let's go for it. Aye, aye. Alright, I'm going to spray three minutes on the clock for you to catch as many fish as you can. Oh, and there's also a bonus for th that'll backstroke in if you catch at least three fish. Nyuck. You done nibbling and all that? Because it's time to launch. Ah, uh, run, 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 run. <laughs> oh my goodness, where's the fish? Where's the fish? I think the right way to do this is probably to use fish bait so you can summon fish much faster without wasting time looking for them, but I... I'm just going to do it normally for this one. Ah, dang it. I'm not doing well at all. I better catch at least three fish, otherwise I'll be super annoyed. Okay, that's a fish. Uh, one. Oh, it's a black bass. And it disappears into the cooler, like CJ mentioned. Dang it. I'm, I'm bad at fishing on camera. I'm usually better at it. <laughs> oh my goodness. I, I, I think I'm actually a bit jumpier and tend to pull in the line faster when I'm recording because I'm a little more anxious about it. <laughs> Come on. Okay, that's two. Do, 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 do. There's a fish. I don't think it matters what kind of fish you catch. It just seems to be a number of fish. So if you look for easy stuff, it's probably the best choice. Because some fish are pretty rare and hard to catch. Okay, we made it to three. Let's keep going. We have about a minute left. I really hope your fishing rod can't break during the tourney, because that would just be obnoxious. Um, I know that your shovel can't break while you're hitting a rock that has a timer. Like, you know, when you hit it eight times and it gives you eight different things. Uh, so I'm hoping the same thing happens with this. Uh, can I get that? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, get in my belly. Not my belly. Get in my, my cooler, I guess. I'm not eating the fish. <laughs> I'm just trying to catch it. 
Uh, I believe CJ also doesn't want to eat the fish, which is cool. Uh, in the previous games, the guy who ran the fishing tourney, his name was Chip, and he did eat the fish. Um, I believe this guy just wants to take pictures of them for his uh, live blog or whatever, which is pretty cool. Probably shouldn't waste time <laughs> during the tourney. Oh my goodness. And time, yeah. Five fish. Uh, I got some miles, I assume just for doing a tourney. Yeah. I'm guessing there's one for each season, because it says fall there. Yeah, first thing is about each season. Cool. Do, 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 do. Hi, CJ. Your favorite angler? Partying in the cooler, you can fetch him later. Or if you don't want him, I'll buy him. I need fresh fish for my live stream to keep my followers following. Yuck. But first things first, let's check out what you caught in the tourney. Looks like you stowed five fish in the cooler. Oh, with a solo bonus waiting in with three or more fish. Splash, that's seven points. I am so hyped. What a cutie. Pour that into your points pool. If you've got enough points in your pool, you can swap them for some slick fish swag. How many points is enough? Let's look in the cooler. Oh, I see, it's just like a, like the um, recycle bin, but with fish. <laughs> Hey CJ, yo yo yo, had a look in your cooler lately? If you've got fish in there to sell, then I want to buy. Yuck. Sell them all. Empty your cooler, got it. Okay, let's see. There's five fish in the cooler. Add them up, carry the ten. How's 5,370 bells sound? That hook you? Yeah, sounds good to me. What a haul, thanks. Also, I'll make sure the cooler's clear if you want to surf the Tony again. Yuck yuck. Uh, yo, Flyfisher, I impacked the gills with fishing journey knowledge. Ask me almost anything. Uh, something else like, oh, have I told you about my live stream needing fresh fish to gush over? Nyuck. If you've got fish to sell, I want to pay too much for them. You get paid, my followers keep following. Win win. Uh, do I have enough points yet? Hmm. You've got seven points in your pool, so. Sorry, but no, if you ain't got at least 10 points, then you're not getting, in, getting fish swag. You gotta earn it. Yuck. Okay, that makes sense. Uh, what did I just get? Oh, I see. I earned him bells by selling items. I sold him the fish. Yeah, that makes sense. Okay. Uh, I might do the Tony one more time. I'm guessing I've got to pay this time. Uh, I might get my fishing rod out first, just to save a little bit of time. Here we go. Yes, nobody can resist the siren song of the fishing tourney. One thing, since you already sailed the tourney seas today, you've got to have 500 bells for your entry fee. Cool? Yeah, that's that's fine. Need you be on board, that'll be 500 bells. Alright, I'm going to spray 3 minutes on the clock for you to catch as many fish as you can. Oh, and there's also a bonus that'll backstroke in if you catch at least 3 fish. Nyuck! You done nibbling and all that? Because it's time to launch. Okay, let's get going. Start casting. Hmm. I'm not sure about making the challenge to catch fish as fast as possible. It's usually a very slow part of the game. Oh, an egg. Dang it. It's an egg, not a fish. Yeah. Um... Putting the egg hunt at the same time as the first fishing tourney is maybe not the best idea. Um, hmm. There we go, that's a fish. A tilapia. Or a tilapia, or however you pronounce it. A fish, is my point. <laughs> I guess you could check the ocean as well. There's probably some fish down there. Fish in the ocean, there's none over there, let's run over this side. I'm not running most of the time because that scares fish, and I don't want to scare the fish, I want to catch them. Uh, for obvious reasons. <laughs> there's a fish. Ah, dang it. thought it didn't see me, so I pulled the line back in, but then it did, it did, it did see. I have been hornswoggled by this this fish. Okay. Uh... 
recorded Guppy. Gotta keep this up. Okay, there's another fish. Possibly. Might be an egg. I hope it's not an egg. It's a fish. Okay, I reached three, so I get the bonus, which is good. Um, but let's keep looking, see what else we can find. Hi, Teddy. You squeeze through here. Thank you. Fish, 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 fish. Yeah, it's a fish. Heck yeah. Got a black bass. Got to keep this up. So yeah, apparently CJ pays too much for the fish, so you probably want to keep catching them as long as you can, just so you can get a bunch of money out of it. Uh, but also, there's the special items he gives you, fish swag or whatever, so that's pretty cool. Uh, I think five is what I got last time, so I beat my previous... No, I didn't beat my previous, I did the same as my previous. If I can catch another fish in ten seconds, I'll beat my previous, but I probably won't do that. Yeah, see? You just uh, get this balloon. I don't really need the eggs. Like, I've got more than enough to make the last item for the, for the egg thing, but I want to rack up number of balloons broken to a certain number. Ah, uh, there's a Nook Miles thing, and there's another reward, basically. Hey CJ. Hey hey, that's my favorite angler. So how was it? Have fun? Yuck. The fish you caught are all partying in the cooler. You can fetch them later. Or if you don't want them, I'll buy them. Uh, yeah, we've seen this already, so I'm just gonna speed this up a little bit. You can hold the R button to make text faster, which is kind of weird. I don't know why that works. It's helpful though. Sell them all. Oh, another balloon. Uh, yeah, that sounds good to me. Thanks, CJ. Uh, let me just... There we go. Hey, CJ. <laughs> you seem to need to talk to him a lot to actually get prizes, which is a bit weird. Fourteen points. Yep. What did I get? Got a prize? Oh, I got a, I got a rug. What is it? Fish rug. Um, cool. You have to go inside to use rugs, I believe, so let's just duck inside and have a look at it, and then I might buy the cliff permit and give that a quicker try, and I think I'll call that a video. Uh, a little bit of terraforming, a little bit of fishing tourney. Um, I'll obviously do more fishing tourney later th in the day off camera, but... Oh, the fish rug's nice. I like it. Cool. I'm, I'm gonna put that somewhere in my house, but for the moment I'm just gonna tuck it away. What was this message bottle? I was figuring what kind of protein shake I wanted for lunch when I had this awesome DIY idea. I got so psyched I wrote out the recipe. Isn't that wild? I really super hope you use it. Swole Crafter Igly. Wow. Log pack. I think that's new. Let's learn it. Huh, okay. Sweet. I learned a DIY recipe for a log pack. Ding! Okay, uh, yeah, let's go get the cliff permit and mess with my cliffs a little bit. Not too much. I don't want to completely change the layout of the island just yet. We'll get to that. <laughs> um, but I just want to see how it works. And show you how it works as well, because, you know, I'm making a video. Uh, da, da, da. Welcome to Nookstop. Uh, redeem Nook Miles. Okay, so it's this one. Cliff Construction Permit. It's an add-on construction permit for the Owl and Designer route. The price is 6,000 miles. Yes, please. We need to save up some more miles. Well, not really. I have way more miles than I need, but I will be saving up more miles because the game encourages you to. Updated. Thank you. Now I can do cliff construction with my island designer app. Yeah, I can. Can I activate the app in here? Huh. Okay, that's interesting. You can go inside while you have it active, but you can't activate it while inside. Curious. That's a weird limitation. Anyway, uh, let's try it out. Cliff construction permit added. Press the plus button to switch between options. Check the manual and get more information. Should I start up the island designer app and do some construction work? Start construction. 
Getting permission. Helmet on, there we go. Okay, so now we have, here we are, cliff construction permit. So it gives me like a, a gold shovel, spade, that's a spade, I think. The difference is if you look at my shovel, you can see it has like a pointy end instead of a flat end, whereas the spade has a flat end. Uh, so let's try going to where the cliffs are, which is over here, and just mess with them a little bit. Uh, can I... Whoa! <laughs> that is wild, okay. And you can build the cliff back up? Yes! Oh my. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Alright, so if I just put some there, it'll... Yeah, straighten that out. Oh wow. That is very cool. Um, can I get two layers of cliff? Like if I climb up onto the first layer and then do some cliffing when I'm up there, what happens? Actually, what if I go up here and try to make another layer of cliff? Will it stop me? I mean, probably, but maybe not. Let's find out. You can't build cliffs around the tree because you might bury the tree. Okay, uh, I'll go away from the trees. Let's do it over here. You can have a fourth layer. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's just build that up a little bit and see how high we can go. Because I can use my ladder to climb onto that new piece and then... It's dangerous to climb any higher. Okay, so you can't climb onto that layer, but you can have that layer. Interesting. Interesting. Okay, so you get four layers, but you're not allowed to go past the third one, so you can't build a fifth one, basically. Okay. Makes sense, I suppose. Um, I kind of wish you could make some sort of incline without actually buying an incline using the cliff construction, like you can with the land bridge as I did earlier, but eh, it's alright. Still very cool. Uh, and we'll get, yeah, some nook miles for building a cliff. Touching. Of course, the, the cliff permit costs more than that, but you know, whatever. <laughs> okay, um, I guess that's about it for this video. Uh, we've seen what the construction thingies do. You got cliff construction, you got waterscaping. Uh, clearly there'll be more types of paths, but I need to buy them. One of them is custom design, which sounds pretty cool. Um, so I'm gonna look forward to that. Um, I'll be buying those, you know, over the next couple days, probably. I could get them all at once, I have plenty of miles, but, you yeah. know. I'm just not super chuffed to grab them all immediately, I guess. Do -do -do -do. If I try to... Okay, if I whack a tree with my shovel, it just... I just bounce off. Well, it's spade, it's a spade. Uh, da, da, da. What if I try to put one right next to a tree? No, too near a tree. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah, because the trees will not grow too close to the river, so you're not allowed to, you know, grow them and then put the river there either, I suppose. Uh, and yet you can't build on the beach. You just sort of wobble around. And you can't get rid of the ocean either, even though that would be really funny. Uh, can I...? Hmm. I was kind of hoping I could adjust this part. Because this is too wide to vault over, you have to walk up here. But it looks like you can't. Mm, doesn't matter. Do, 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 do. Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Um, next time, I don't know, I might have more of these permits and things. Or I might be doing something else. Or who knows. <laughs> uh, I hope you enjoyed what we saw so far anyway. Um, cool. Beans. <laughs> oh my goodness. Bye!